Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading. It is for all signs, so as always it may or may not resonate with you and it will be for Tuesday the 27th of April 2021. Uh, remember my readings can last a few days longer than when they're released as well. So I'm going to pull a spirit message card for the day. So what do we have please angels, spirits, guides for the day? What is the message people need to hear? Okay, so the card that's come out is self-sabotage self even, if I can say that properly. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Okay. Let's pull some cards and see what we get. What do we have for the day, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message that people need to hear the most? And it is for Tuesday the 27th of April 2021. Okay. So I've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. Strength card. Page of Swords. And we have the Five of Wands. Clarifying the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is generally to do with... The Ace is to do with new beginnings. Um, you know, this can be to do with job, financial, career opportunity a new one it's a shiny new old next level energy um, this can also be an energy of moving relocating so you know if you're making an offer on a property or someone's making an offer on yours it, it can be to do with moving relocating as well in some respects the strength card is interesting because this is about having the strength and resolve when you face a fear, it's, it's having the courage to face fears and adversity and face it head on, having the strength and courage to do that in whatever context this means. Um, there's also an energy here of when you're in your power, even though that there is some kind of challenge that you're facing, there is an energy of you have the power to influence this Ace of Pentacles, which is, it feels to do with opening a new door. So there's a, there's a kind of Braveheart energy here. Because for some of you, something is stressing you out. Nine of Swords is stress, anxiety, worry. It's to do with the mind, how we perceive things, our thought patterns. And, you know, the Page of Swords can be some news or information or a piece of data that has caused some stress, anxiety, worry. There's a kind of feeling here. I'm going to clarify this Five of Wands. Um, let's clarify this Five of Wands. So we have the Queen of Swords. So she can be to do with... It can be to do with a person, can be a Libra energy. Uh, so the five of ones can be to do with conflict, struggle, tension. I'm also 
So I'm going to clarify this Four of Cups. The Hermit. I mean, you know, the, the Queen of Swords as an energy is, is an energy of somebody who sees the truth of a situation. They, they apply the reason and logic, you know, that they need to really make decisions, judgment calls about how they move forward, you know, and cut away that which doesn't serve them. So I'm definitely getting that energy with the Five of Wands energy because this is about conflict, struggle. Some kind of like fallout conflict struggle here. Um, and this four of, of cups is really about finding answers on how you move forward. It feels like some of you are making some decision on bringing something to an end here. Um... The Four of Cups can be about giving some deep thought. And obviously the universe is guiding you in a specific direction. Your intuition is telling you deep down. Uh, Hermit is definitely an energy of healing, finding answers from within. Um, and again, we've got the Death card, which is uh, really ending. It feels to do with some kind of ending. It feels some kind of judgment or decision, giving some deep thought to ending something. Because... Something has come to light that has caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. And you know, the ending card, the death card is, is generally a card of shedding an old skin, out with the old, in with the new. It's the Phoenix Rising card. It is the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to embrace the new, in order to rise in its true new light. Uh, having shed the shackles of what it doesn't need anymore. So again, very much like that Queen of Swords energy, it feels like someone is ready to cut away, make some kind of judgment call decision on something that hasn't really served them. I'm going to clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What is this new beginning? And it's having the strength, the courage to step through a new door. And the strength to step through a new door. Now that could be... You know, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it can be moving, relocating, can be to do with money, career. Um, there is a shiny, beautiful opportunity there. Um, but it can actually be a card of manifesting a new path in your conscious reality. And that's what the Ace of Pentacles can mean. Um, so whatever it means for you, whether this has been relationships, jobs, you know, um, whatever kind of relationship, it feels for some of you, something has stressed you out. There has some, been some truth that's come to light. But that Queen of Swords is somebody who's got the power of the mind again. They're ready to make some kind of decision on what serves them now and what doesn't. Because they want to bring an end to some kind of conflict, tension, something that's disrupted their life for far too long. And it feels like the, the, the decision to end something and open a new door. And having the courage and strength to open a new door. So let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, Three of Cups. This is about closure, you know. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. It can be people giving you emotional support. Um, but it's also an energy of... The winter is over, the spring is here. I'm ready to open a new door. I'm finally closing one door and being ready to open a new one. It feels in this energy someone is making some kind of decision that they've given a, a lot of thought to uh, because something's happened that has caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry here. And this is an energy of out with the old, in with the new. I'm ready to embrace new possibilities and shed an old skin. And the message is... If there is self-sabotage here, if there is, and, and obviously it won't resonate with everybody this reading, it's a general reading, um, but you know, you will know intuitively with that Four of Cups, um, deep down your instinct, you are being enlightened by source from within on how you need to take action. And all the while there's definitely an energy of you're being given that helping hand from God, the universe, the divine. It's a very beautiful energy. Uh, whatever has come to light here, whatever you've learnt, whatever truth, information, news, call it what you will, that has caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry and tension, 
it feels uh, you're finding the answer on how you want to deal with it. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for the day, please, angels, spirits, guides. Final message for the day, thank you. Yeah. I do feel some of you with that Three of Cups energy, you have the support of a community, a tribe. So we have Leave Cutter Ant, Army of Life, Ask for Help, Seek Support, You Are Not Alone. Lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.